So why are we trying to live in the new state? Because the state creates. Because yeah. the state creates what's going to happen. So if you want this circumstance, the event, the action, the thing that's taking place or took place to be different, then you, you have got to change what is going on internally here, the state of you, to then change the outside because we all fundamentally understand that this is thought reflection. And we are reflecting out what is happening out here. Now, that's another thing you guys maybe don't understand if you're here in the squad. If you don't understand thought reflection or thought transmission or how this fundamentally works, then you need to go and watch my basic videos about that. Because when you guys are coming in the Q&A and you are saying this circumstance happened, well, first of all, you're not understanding circumstances don't mean anything. And if, if you said to us, but, or why, why are you telling me this? Or, but I want to tell you what happened then you're not actually understanding what Pam was just telling you, that you have to change your state because your state created the circumstance. You guys getting that? Like anyone in the chat here who doesn't get this? Like is anyone in the squad right now and doesn't understand thought reflection or that everything out here is a reflection of you? Please tell me you all understand this. Welcome, welcome, welcome. Welcome to all the new Mentor Tuesday. Mentor Tuesday. If you're new here, hello. Um, this is a weekly live that we do going over themes from the previous week's Q&A forum. Um, sorry, I'm like knocking into my drawers here. Um, we're going over themes from the latest Q&A forum that was up last week. Um, we if we have time, we do touch on questions. We try to keep the questions um, related to what's going on in the live, what we're talking about. Lost into the then we just got on. Pamela. Let me add laws. I, for some reason, it didn't show that you requested, but I just request. There she is. There she is. Hello. Now, can you hear me or do I need ear pods? I can hear you just fine. Oh, can you? Okay. Sorry, Sarah, you were doing an intro and I interrupted. What were you saying? That's okay. Now, sorry. Now, I was just quickly looking for Pamela. I don't see her in here just yet. Um, but basically, what we're going to be doing is talking about last week's common themes. If we touch on any questions, it's going to be questions related to those themes. If you have a specific question, Make sure you go to this week's Q and A form and leave your comments there. And here is Pamela. Yay! So, guys, just Q and A form is the place for your questions. So we have that in the free group and in the squad. But in the squad, the mentors are there to help you. Hi, Pam. Hello, darlings. Hello. Hello. How hello. How did the move go? Are you oh settled in? Gosh. It was a fourteen-hour drive with three kitties in the car. <laughs> what? <laughs> Yeah, and I'm here and just trying to get settled, trying to get my house sold, and oh. it's good. It's good to be close to family. Oh, lovely. Now, guys, are you okay if I post this on YouTube to give people an opportunity to see what Mentor Mondays yeah. are like? Yes. Oh, lovely, because the thing is about the squad, guys, so if you're watching this on YouTube, right, the squad is my private monthly coaching group on Facebook, and because we're in the little silo of the squad, you only see what goes on in the squad if you're in the squad. You know, like, don't talk about Fight Club. <laughs> if you're not in the school, right? So I would like an opportunity every now and again just to show you guys what goes on in here. And what goes on in here every Monday is the Mentor Monday. I'm not always on, but the mentors are on discussing your questions and the common themes of the week that come from the Q&A forum where you can ask your questions. And the mentors are people I have specially chosen and handpicked who know their shit, who understand the law, who can answer questions beautifully and know how to give you the help you need. And they also have had their own success in their own way. Okay, so that's who the people are who are mentors, the actual mentors in the squad. They kind of pop into the free group, but they're mostly in the squad. Okay, so what do we want to start with, Sarah P? So our first theme on the docket is about the 3D blowing up. So why is my 3D blowing up and what do I do when that happens? I just like wanted to, to say something really mm -hmm. quick, guys. I, I My place doesn't have central AC. I have a little window unit. So if it's too loud, just tell me. Oh, we can't hear it. Yeah, I can't okay. hear anything. Okay. All good. <laughs> What's that about the 3D blowing up? So I have done a lot of videos recently on YouTube about this. I have done really countless, good ones. countless videos 
videos about the 3D. And the thing that I think a lot of people are getting very confused about is A, they don't understand that the 3D is a reflection of them, but they're also not understanding that it's not catching up, it's a reflection of them currently, right? So a lot of people haven't quite got that yet because they've got confused by people saying the 3D catches up. It doesn't catch up, okay? <laughs> Just that's patently wrong. And I've said that in the past. So if anyone's asking those questions and you're in the squad right now and you actually don't partake in my YouTube fucking content, you need to do that because some of you in here are confused as fuck and you're in the squad. And the whole point of the squad is we're meant to be really educating ourselves in here. So try and absorb as much content as possible, not only the squad courses and the challenges and the posts and the help, but please do go and watch my latest YouTubes. And in those, I've talked a lot about the 3D and so what kind of questions are you guys getting about the 3D? Because I'm perplexed as to why people are still asking this if I've done so much content recently on YouTube about it. Well, I, I found because I was going through the QA quite extensively, like with a fine tooth comb, and every question was just the same question, just different mm -hmm. circumstances. Hey, this happened. What do I do? What do I do next? How do I fix this? Right. Um, what do I do after it's blown up? I thought my self-concept was great. Questions like that. Or even when you give a response and they say, okay, but then this happened. When you just said circumstances don't matter and then they continue on. Yeah, Pam, you're the teacher here. What does circumstances mean? It means n no matter what happens in your 3D, that yeah, doesn't matter. You live in your... The word circumstance, what does it actually mean? Like, Because I don't think people get what the word means. It's what you see in your reality, right, what's, the, the circumstance, what's yeah. What's happening, right? The circumstance, the right. event, thing that's happening right in the now. Mm -hmm. so, so if you say to us, if we say circumstances, what's happening in the now does not matter, or the things that happened in the past do not matter, and then you continue to tell us the circumstances, the things that happened, that means you're patiently not understanding that circumstances don't you're not getting it. There, there was one very much, it, it was worded exactly like that. I know circumstances don't matter, yeah. but, and but, there's always a but, but there. Are right. for chairs. But, but <laughs> don't belong in your question. If right. circumstances yes. don't these, matter, that's it. These guys, guys must get so sick and tired of you writing but in your questions, guys. Like, how much do you guys see that? All the time. Almost, yeah, almost every question <laughs> just, to, just to piggyback on that anyone who feels guilty for asking a question no. don't that is how you learn no, that's yeah. why we have these no, lives and we're discussing this now no. that's what i'm saying here but what i want you guys to understand is the absolute fundamentals of this right so a lot of people don't understand that the words we use in manifestation speak are what the words mean right the words circumstance i'm fucking need a dick i'm gonna get my dictionary out i'm gonna read you what it means because so many of you are fucking confused it's like self-concept. Concept means idea. Idea of yourself. It doesn't mean love. It doesn't mean esteem. It means idea of yourself. So if we're saying to you, circumstances don't matter, well, what does a circumstance mean? Let's look it up because I don't think some of you get it. A fact or condition connected with or relevant to an event or action. So the conditional fact connected with something, with an event that happened, an action you took, an action they took, Anything associated with it does not fucking, what does matter mean? Let's look. Never it up. Mind. Guys, seriously, the substance or uh, the definition of matter, but like matter means it has no meaning. It doesn't mean anything. If you say to someone, oh, you don't matter to me, you don't mean anything to me, right? So what we're saying is the action or the event that is either taking place, took place, the thing they said, the thing you saw, the thing you experienced, the circumstance has no meaning, does not matter. So if you understand that fundamentally now, then what would be the point of you then telling us what the event, action, circumstance was that you think means something? Like, really get this, guys. Because when you're asking the question, this is the thing you guys don't understand, and the mentors can tell you this, why am I saying don't write it in the Q&A? Because what are they doing when they're writing it? Well, and I really Breathing wish life people, into it. Yeah. yeah. And I wish people to understand, if you're trying to create this new story, but you keep dragging the old story 
Oh, but, but you keep dragging it back. You keep dragging it back. If you're so attached to that old story, how can you live in that new state? Like, right. why are you so, so wait, attached and keep dragging it? So why are we trying to live in the new state? Because the state creates. That, because yeah. the state creates what's going to happen. So if you want this circumstance, the event, the action, the thing that's taking place or took place to be different, then you, you have got to change what is going on internally here, the state of you, to then change the outside because we all fundamentally understand that this is thought reflection and we are reflecting out what is happening out here. Now, that's another thing you guys maybe don't understand if you're here in the squad. If you don't understand thought reflection or thought transmission or how this fundamentally works, then you need to go and watch my basic videos about that. Because when you guys are coming in the Q&A and you are saying this circumstance happened, well, first of all, you're not understanding circumstances don't mean anything. And if, if you said to us, but, or why, why are you telling me this? Or, but I want to tell you what happened. Then you're not actually understanding what Pam was just telling you, that you have to change your state because your state created the circumstance. You guys getting that? Like anyone in the chat here who doesn't get this? Like is anyone in the squad right now? and doesn't understand thought reflection or that everything out here is a reflection of you, please tell me you all understand this. Because if you don't understand that, I'm not telling you off, but we need you to understand this, right? Because then it's very difficult for the mentors to try and explain something to you and say something like, have you changed, you know, do you think your state's changed? Or do you understand circumstances don't matter? And if you fundamentally don't understand those two things, you're going to be like, no. Then they have to kind of educate you on the basics when you haven't educated yourself, right? So what I'm trying to say here is these guys can answer you to the cows come home, but you've also got to fundamentally understand this. And have you done enough investigation of getting a handle on how this works for you to then understand the answers that these guys give you? That's the thing I think people are missing. Do you think, guys, sometimes when you're giving an answer, the person you're writing back to doesn't fundamentally understand what you are saying? Which leads to a bunch more comments. They want to keep discussing it. Right. So yeah, it's like let's have an example of how that happens. Like because this is what they don't realise they're doing. So if they're not understanding it and they've asked a question about circumstances, say for example, then what seems to happen? Because I'm not in the Q and A as much as you guys. I I don't answer again. Right. Most mm -hmm. of the time because I don't want to continue that. Right. But I'm right, we're not going to keep it alive. Yeah, we're not going to keep having this conversation with you. Yeah, but why, Pam? Why don't you want to consider continue the conversation? You just said it before because you're steeping yourself in the old story, right? So when the mentors stop answering you and say to you, "Go and do the work I just said," or "Go and watch this video," or "Come back to us when you've done X, Y, Z," the reason they're saying that is not just because they don't want you to be lazy bitches and not get this and go do some work but because you're perpetuating the story and keeping the circumstance in place by simply asking the question and talking about the story. Do you guys understand that part? Now, these guys will probably tell you the majority of you in the Q&A aren't getting that because what are the questions full of? Circumstances. Circumstances. So if you understood that fundamentally by perpetuating the story of the circumstance and talking about it and asking questions about it keeps the circumstance in place and then you keep talking about the circumstances then you haven't understood that that's what's happening a lot of the time you'll see blah 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 but and whatever follows but those are the circumstances mm -hmm. that's what doesn't matter we skip down to your question we go and we find your question and we answer that because we do not read the circumstances they have no effect on how we answer you we will ignore at least i know i do i will ignore circumstances in a question the if they're not is, relevant yeah. because like if the paragraphs like this and then the actual questions like a one-liner like you know mixed in there the rest of it really doesn't matter doesn't matter guys and this is the thing and you guys are filling up the q a with all these circumstances and these guys aren't even reading them because they don't matter so what would be the point of reading it if it doesn't matter right Here's the, th here's the thing, I think, as a, as a society, we are conditioned to live in the old story. Yeah. Romantic comedies, sad songs, we want to steep ourselves in that. And this is the work when you come to the law is that you have to change who you are. Stop living in that story that you say you don't want. I heard a really great analogy and it said, when you make a cup of tea, the longer you steep the tea bag, the stronger the tea gets. 
And I thought that's such a great thing compared to like, what are you steeping your brain in? Yep. It's was such a good analogy. I was like, so true. Well, yeah. if you want to think about it like techniques, right? What are affirmations? What is scripting? What is visualizing? If you're imagining the same scenarios over and over again, if you're repeating it to your friends in the Q&A forum, whatever, you're affirming it, you're basically scripting it. Like if those are the techniques you're using to saturate yourself with the new story, are you not now unintentionally using those techniques to saturate your mind with the same old crap? So you're actually contradicting yourselves, mm -hmm. guys. Constantly ask questions. When you go from coach to coach to coach, when you go from video to video and ask questions, you're doing, you're cancelling out everything Sarah said you're doing as techniques. Do you understand that? You're like doing all this work at the gym and getting really fit and then coming home and binge eating McDonald's, right? And I don't think you guys get that. And I know we have a Q&A forum and I'm not saying don't ask a question. But what I'm saying is, how do you ask the question when you've understood my teachings? When you understand the law and you know I go deeper than just going, live in the end, get in the state. When you actually watch me, I'm saying, if you were doing coaching with me, I'd let you talk and talk and talk about the circumstances. Then I go, shut up. What happened when you were a kid? And you go, what? And I'd be like, tell me about your childhood because this sounds like your dad left. Oh, yeah, he did. Right. Okay. Well, that's all I need to know. I didn't actually need to know the 15 minutes of crap that you just wasted my time with. That's why I used to give people a form because when I first did the coaching, they would crap on for 15 fucking minutes about their circumstances. So I ended up giving them a form and only allowed them to give me certain amounts of information. And if you're in the squad, you can actually watch those coaching sessions where I was very strict with what they told me and you can actually watch them back. They're called one-to-one -one coaching sessions, so coaching with laws. And you can come in the squad. These are not on YouTube or anywhere else. You can watch them here. And if you're in the squad right now and you haven't gone and watched every single one of those, do yourself a favour. Because I am literally coaching people the way I would coach you. And what I keep saying is, don't go on and on about stuff that doesn't matter. Tell me about the stuff that caused the stuff that's going on. So something we see a lot too is people say, but I, I've been in such a good place. I've been in the state. Yeah. And I want to say, have you really now? Like if you were really honest with yourself. Because, you know, I, I think people think, because we're mentors, we never struggle. And I, I know in this move, I've had, well, I don't want to affirm it, but you know, my brain has played tricks on me and I, it's what you do in those moments. Like exactly. you don't let it, you know, trigger you and all these things. So you just have to stop yourself and be like, what am I doing? Mm. Like I had found myself yes. 10 minutes deep in a conversation that never even happened. And I'm like, what? A, no, this is not what we do. That often right. happens in the show shower with me mm -hmm. yeah <laughs> but sometimes shit does happen sometimes you see something happen you're like oh well fuck that and you yeah. just have to kind of move past it right you have to move your mind back to the yep. new story and be strict with yourself that way yeah. honestly guys a lot of you are very confused about what good self-concept means or i've worked on my self-concept the amount of times i hear that i think what the fuck does that mean right yep. i go and talk to friends when i was in London or back in the day when I was surrounded by a lot of people. I'm not so much anymore. I'm more isolated and working a lot. And I would make people cry at parties all the fucking time. And you know why? Because they'd tell me they'd be standing, mostly girls, and they'd be going, oh, life's great. And this and that and da 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 and la 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 and blah, blah, blah. And life's wonderful. And oh, I don't care that I'm single. I mean, I don't care. I hate men. I mean, who needs a man? And blah, 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 blah. And I'd be like, hmm. So why? And then I'd start asking questions and they'd start to cry. So with were they really in a good self-concept? Were they really okay with being single? Or was this the facade of what they thought was good, confident self-esteem, right? I have so many friends who thought that their shit was together. And I would just pull out a little bit of cotton and unravel their entire outfit and the dress would fall off. Because this is confidence, self-confidence. I'm feeling good about myself. I'm being positive. The amount of you that come in here and say, I'm being very positive about everything. Great, that's not going to fix this fucking thing right now because you've still got shit in the back of your mind that's still running while you're being positive. Have you fixed that? That's what I'm about. That's why I'm called Subconscious Laws. That's why I changed my name from Manifest Live with Laws to Subconscious Laws because I realized I was the only person actually delving into this stuff. Other people were telling you to revise it and not even think about it. I'm like, we need to know what it is because it's still running if you revise it or not. You can go revise it if you like, but sometimes when you revise it, it still doesn't go away. So Same goes with guys, giving it good meaning. Right. So what you guys need to understand, when the mentors are trying to answer you and you keep trying to argue with them or argue the point, 
okay, but my self-concept's been good, or I've been doing X, Y, Z. It doesn't really matter what the fuck you've been doing. It matters what the, the, the consequences are out here. Has it improved? Are they back? No? Well, you're fucking doing something wrong, aren't you? Right? Like, I don't mean to scare you, but if you've been doing this a long time and you think you're doing it right, don't come in here and argue with the mentors and say, I'm doing it all right, and then go, what am I doing wrong? Don't tell us you're doing it all right. You're obviously not. You wouldn't you see be what I'm saying? in QA. <laughs> you wouldn't be there. Right. You wouldn't even be in the squad if you were doing it right. You wouldn't be watching manifestation videos. What the fuck are you doing watching manifestation videos if, if it was all here already? So don't come in and say, but I'm doing everything. Well, you can't be because where the fuck is it? You understand? But I also mm -hmm. think that people say, this is just my perception, is when they say, but I've been doing everything right. Affirmations aren't magic. Yes, you may be saying them a thousand times a day, but until you really, like until I really had those deep conversations with myself, okay, but why am I feeling so anxious today? Like what power am I giving to something else? You have to really, I, I don't know that people really know what that means when we say you have to dig deeper and really talk to yourself. So don't be afraid to have a conversation with yourself. Mm -hmm. Anyway, I'll let you guys answer. I'm going to get another yeah. copy because I keep talking into everyone and you're not answering anything. <laughs> like it's well, we can move into the next, <laughs> we'll move into the next topic, which kind of leads into it, which is um, persisting and staying in the end, how to persist and how to stay in the end. Do you want to take, do you want me to answer that, Pamela? Go ahead. Okay. Well, it depends what you mean. What does your end look like? You mm -hmm. know, like, what are you constantly aware of? Um, sorry, my mind's just gone blank then. <laughs> I mean, I like to think that you're always in the end of something, right? Whatever right. you are, there's only the now moment. So whatever you are thinking, yeah. and as Pamela said, steeping in now is your current end. So what end do you want to be in? Who do you want to be? What reality do you want to experience that is where your mind should be that is how you and you you bring yourself back to that end you when you find yourself thinking of something else thinking of what you don't want to be thinking you know thinking the old story having arguments in your head having a conversation yeah. 10 minutes deep and going what am i doing that's when you bring your mind back to that end that's what i would call persisting mm -hmm. right that's it's why when i get tripped up when people say what is persisting i was like it's just well have you ever met someone bringing yourself back like, to that have you ever gone into the grocery store and they're trying to sell you a credit card and there's people walking through the aisles and they're like, hi, ma'am, how are you today? Terrifying. Or you're in the mall and they're like, you know, following you around with a, like a curling iron or something, right? Like those people are what you would call persistent. You have to kind of, almost, not to be annoying, but like, you know, you really have to return to that story regardless. And they're like, I don't need another credit card. And you're like, yeah, but you know, you can collect these points. Yeah, but blah, blah, blah. yeah, but this. Right? Like it's a constant back and forth until you're like, I'm really not interested. Thank you. Yeah. Yeah. Right. And that's and, how and you kind realize, of talk to yourself. Well, and realizing too, if you're so focused on, just for an example, if you're so focused on getting a text and that's bringing you down, is that really the end or do you want to be with that person? Exactly. You have to really think about what the end really means. Because if you want to be with that person, is a text really all you? you want or do you mm -hmm. persist in the end of your story because if you're with somebody and you're happily married isn't texting and calling talking on the phone and going out to dinner a natural part of being in a relationship absolutely yeah but people want validation and i've said this because in the beginning you know you want those little things i want to text i want him to show up at my door and toss, tell me he loves me it's those little things along the way and you're just seeking validation Usually when the, the, that's where your mind is going, when you're looking for like the text or, you know, they didn't text you good morning or, you know, you didn't hear from them for a couple hours and now you're getting anxious or, you know, whatever, and you want the validation. It's usually because you're not in the end, right? You're worried about the end and it's not going to happen. So you need that little mm -hmm. dopamine hit that'll keep you going. And that, that's why people come in the, in the squad and they'll say, should I text him? Should I reach out? Well, why are you asking us that? What What are you needing in this moment? What are you afraid of? Can I? Well, they're scared I, if they don't reach out that SP is going to yeah. forget them or someone's yeah. going to forget them. I saw a thing the other day about like if your TikTok, you just started a TikTok account, right? And I, I just thought about this as a good analogy for texts and calls and stuff when you're with someone. 
So someone was saying, if you've just started a TikTok or Instagram, what you should be doing is putting in like 10 posts every couple of days and not even looking at the results, right? Meaning don't go and see how many people have liked it. Don't go and see how many comments are there. Just post as if you've got a big audience and just keep posting and posting as if people are there watching. But don't go and check to see if anyone's watching. That's how don't take up you the seed. With your SP. So if at the moment it's starting out and the texts aren't coming in and blah, 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 you just go to the end of I've got a really successful TikTok account and I've got a million followers. You don't go, oh, I've got nobody liking my post. I put out that post, it must have been bad. Oh, now that's what you guys do. You see the text, you think, oh, did I say the wrong thing? You delete. You double text because you're second guessing because you're seeking the validation and you didn't get it. Then you second guess yourself, get fearful. Uh -huh. That'd be like someone posting a post, thinking it was bad. <gasps> no one commented, delete, putting another one. Oh, lots of people commented. That must have been good. Great. They do another one, the same thing. No one comments. They go, oh, it was bad. Like, can you imagine how debilitating that would be for your anxiety levels and your faith in yourself if you had a social media account? So what you guys are doing when you're constantly seeking validation in the 3D to show you that it's going somewhere, think about it like a long-standing career you would have where you don't need validation right now that it's going anywhere. Think about Chapel Rowan, okay? Rowan, am I saying a name wrong? Rowan. I saw a video today showing her in 2021 singing Pink Pony Club in a park in 2021. No one had a fucking clue who she was except a couple of lesbians standing there cheering her on. Now in these gigantic stadiums where everyone's doing H-O-T-T-O-T-O. -T 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 like, no one even knew that before. There's videos of her going, guys, it goes H-T. And she's showing people. Now, every single person, she's going to end up doing Glastonbury and they're all going to know the actions to that song. Now, she stood in the park in 2021 and thought to herself, oh, no one's doing my H-O-T-T-O to go. No one knows the words to Pink Pony Club. I'll just quit. That's what you guys are doing when you're freaking out about text. But you're not going to the end. The persisting and the end is what she did. And I, How she I think she's a good example too because I'm pretty sure at one point she had a record deal and lost it. Did she? Mm -hmm. When she, I think a few years back, like she got a record deal and then um, something happened. I don't know if she didn't have, like, you know, get enough in that period of time, whatever, they dropped her. And look at her now, right? If she just decided, well, I guess music's not for me. I'm going to go do something else now. She wouldn't be where she is right now. She persisted. And, and if, if she had quit, she never would have seen this. Mm -hmm. Never. And this is like an acceleration of someone in the zeitgeist I've never seen before. And this is someone who's not just popular with lesbians, right? And I don't know if she even anticipated that. She probably just thought the lesbians will love me. You know what I mean? You guys are so worried about the intricacies of getting to the end that you're going to fuck getting to the end. And this is what you guys keep asking about in the Q&A forum is the steps to get to the end. You're, you're doing as if she came to the Q&A and went, I did a concert today in, in, in New York and in the park and only two people were there. Like that's, that's the equivalent of what you guys are doing when you worry about a text or should I text them? She just kept going. She just kept singing in the park until this happened. You know what I mean? Like you guys get the analogy here about with oh, yeah. worried about but little things like if you're married in a year's time who gives a shit i think people think staying in the end is some long-winded dragged out thing that you're doing 24 7 but it is but it's not something that you're going to feel all the time you're still going to have emotions you're still going to have moments in the 3d staying in the end and persisting is about bringing yourself back to the new state every time that happens and that dark cloud that's over those situations gets a little bit smaller and smaller each time it's a little easier to catch those moments and change change your thinking, change your awareness in that moment. So I'll use an example from someone we know. Everyone knows Sasha. I am Sasha official. Sasha just got married to her SP. Yeah. I have been along the journey with her, hearing about all the circumstances and on the end of the phone with her for this entire journey with that SP. Let me say, I'm not going to tell the story, but there was some shitty stuff circumstances she's now married to him and she just sent me a text saying i said are you in istanbul again she's there like having a little mini honeymoon thing right <laughs> it's beautiful it's a love story but i'm telling you right now if you had been on the phone call the whatsapps between me and her and her and Kay, uh it 
would not have sounded like she was going to get married right now, right? You guys are so worried about what's happening right now. Sasha had to go right, right to the end and I'll let her tell her own story about that. But you guys are really fucking it with worrying about what's happening now, okay? I just need you to understand. Use Sasha as an example, all right? Or Chapel Ron, okay? But I also think people expect everything to be perfect, poof, 100% right yep. now. And not that that can't happen, uh, not to have that limited mindset, but they're not allowing things to come to you. And I, I know I've said it before, but it's like my journey to creating my coloring books. I, I, people literally would just kind of appear and they helped me learn a new skill. And then I could, you know, it, it, I look back at that journey and how everything unfolded. I could have been I, like, yeah, I could have, yeah. you know, I could have been like, oh, well, I didn't sell 10 million in my first copy, but you, you have to allow, like, what is it? Neville says, everything has its own appointed hour. Yeah. You don't get to control it. You just have to allow it to come to you. Mm -hmm. And that's when something isn't showing up. You don't freak out. You just think, I am patient. It's, it's here. I just can't see it yet. You're not saying it's coming. You're saying it's here. It's in my mind. Therefore, it will be reflected. Right? This is the thing about the 3D catch-up thing you think is happening, guys. It's not that. It's that it has its own time that you can't control. So when I'm saying, it sounds like I'm contradicting myself. When I'm saying the 3D isn't catching up or I'm saying you might be doing something wrong if it's taking a long time, ask yourself, am I in a patient state? Am I in a knowing state? Am I in the state of knowing it's here or am I in the state of where is it? If you're in the state of where is it and what am I doing wrong, you're not in the right state. And that, that's the state where I'm saying you're doing something wrong. If you're in the knowing state and you're being patient and you know it will be here any day now, that's the right state. So ask yourself which state you're in and then you'll know if you're in the right one or the wrong one. And if you're in the wrong one, you're probably doing something wrong. That's why it's not here, <laughs> right? Anyway, I'll, can, I'll let you guys continue. Sure, and I'm going to quickly pull a question before we move on because it really spoke really what we were talking one. about. Um, so they were asking, is timing based on the appointed hour or is it based on how quickly your mind believes your new self-concept? How quickly you believe it. I can, I can try and manifest something on a time crunch and because it's, I'm stressed, mm -hmm. I can like that. I can make people say things because I'm... I am literally manifesting the fuck out of thing, that thing right now. When I don't put in a lot of effort and I haven't really changed my mind about it a lot, it takes longer. <laughs> it's just how it works for me, right? Anyway, you guys. Well, and answer. I think people it's a, a very personal experience, that timing. Right, it's yeah. different for, for every single thing that you manifest. I mean, you're manifesting everything, but every single you know, situation is different. So something that you know could take a day, another thing could take, a couple months. You don't worry about the time. The time doesn't matter because exactly, if you're Sarah, in the end, it's time, over. Now the time isn't that problematic in itself, mm -hmm. right? If you understood that everything mm -hmm. had its own hour, you wouldn't even ask about the appointed hour. You understand? Exactly. Every question you ask is mm -hmm. is showing where your focus is, basically. Exactly. And I think right. understanding too that affirmations are just a tool that you say in repetition to create those new assumptions mm -hmm. so that you eventually believe and you just know it's done. Mm -hmm. Right. What else do we want to chat about? All right. All right. So the next thing we've got is hot and cold behavior as P work, friends, family, when the 3d is hot and cold, what does that mean? What do we do? Which kind of goes back to what we were talking to before, but I will let you guys it's always the same word, you persist. Yeah. <laughs> whether it's hot and things are going good or whether it's like if you see something happen that's cold, right? Either you're, you're not getting what you want, you haven't heard from somebody, you're waiting on a call from a job, whatever it is. You still stay in that end. You still persist in that end story. If you start looking at the cold and going, well, why is that happening? Why did they stop answering me? Or I haven't heard from that job in a week. I wonder what's going on. I really, like, I don't know why. Did they choose somebody else? Did, did another candidate get the job? Or, you know, did I get approved for whatever? Did blah, 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 blah. That's you focusing on what's not here. So what do you think is going to keep happening? Exactly. Well, as I shared a story, and I'll, I, I know um, Kat heard it. I don't think you've heard it. 
Sarah, but it's where I, it was three years ago. One of my very best friends, we just kind of fell apart. She, it, it just happened. And I have affirmed for her over the years and just didn't really, like I wanted to be friends with her. So I wanted her in my life, but I didn't like focus on it. Mm -hmm. And right before I moved um, here to Pennsylvania, her name popped up on my phone. I was like, oh my God, she's calling me. Mm -hmm. And I, I am a very organized person. I know where all my papers are. Like I am crazy organized. And she said to me, I bought a little safe from you and I found all of your personal papers in it. My birth certificate, my social security card. Lost. This is not, that is not me. I know where everything is. Right. And for her to say to me, well, I guess it took me finding your papers to finally reach out to you. Right. I, I never could have predicted that that's how we would have so, come guys, back together. I have of a bridge of incidents. Yeah. So when you guys say, oh, it does a bridge of incidents have to be a bad thing? No, it's just a bridge that leads you unknowingly to your manifestation. So Pamela was manifesting being friends with her again, but she didn't know how it was going to lead there or what was going to happen. So when you guys are so worried about what is happening right now, could Pamela have devised in her own Never. mind? I'm going to sell my safe. And what I'm going to do is forget all my important papers. And then she's going to discover them. And she's going to decide that it's okay to ring me. And then, I mean, how could she have come up with that? Never. You know what I Never in a million years. Mm -hmm. You don't see it as it's happening a lot of the time. Exactly. Exactly. Right. That's a great example. A lot mm -hmm. of those hot cold questions actually had in that category people saying well say sp was coming in hot and then everything just stopped or you know i was getting callbacks for interviews and all of a sudden nothing and th so it wasn't it's not just hot and cold it's when things are going well and then things just went flat but how do you know that, it, that it went flat how do you know yeah. it stopped who's yeah. giving it that meaning and some some of them were ridiculous. Like ISP oh, didn't reply for three days. Okay, and <laughs> three days. I, I, Ooh. Like, guys, I can go a whole week and not even worry. Like I don't understand what you guys are doing with your. When I've had relationships where someone had to ring me every morning or message me, they would drive they drive me crazy. I'd be like, dude, you have to talk to me every morning. Like, but I'm very different, right? But yeah. some of you are so fucking needy. You think that means something? Yeah, I'm not saying if, if you want I, that constant I, contact, you can get it. Yeah. Saying good morning text to you and four other bitches. And you think yeah. it means something. Oh, good yeah. morning this morning. Like, you're placing so much meaning on these small things that you think mean something. It's just the meaning you're putting on it. If I don't get a text for three days, I don't start going, oh, my God, this is happening. I just go, I'm busy. They're busy. Like, you know what? And I, guys, that's, that's telling you about your concept of needing yeah. validation. Especially self. early on, if you're not exclusively with that SP yet and you're getting, you know, mixed signals and stuff, that's on that's on you. But it's especially if it's early on, if you're not already in a relationship, of course you're not going to be, you know, contact changes as the relationship changes. You know, when you're you married, know, you'll probably hear from them a lot less, you know, TikTok, or maybe more TikTok, if it's... TikTok has driven that whole, if he wanted to, he would. He I'm like, to, stop listening yeah. to this nonsense. Who's that guy? that pops up that i absolutely hate and i had to block him the other day his name's like montaigne or something and he goes oh you want to hear another absolutely disgusting thing about men or something like that <laughs> um, and he was on like day 80 or something i was like who are you stop lifting your shirt up block i was like what is this crap oh, i'm like that guy, uh -huh. i saw that i was like who the fuck is this? and he talks in the daddy voice <laughs> no we're not saying you can't manifest and everything but all we're saying is Ask yourself why you need that so badly. Yeah. And that's got to do with you needing validation that they still like you, want you, haven't forgotten about you. That's about you. None of the and you've got to ask. Texting and stuff matters if you're already in the end married. Exactly. And the thing is, you could go a whole week without talking and the next week find out something happened to them. Yeah. That has happened. I found out the person was yeah. literally dying in hospital, right? I could have sent them a text and be like, you asshole, la, la, la. Meanwhile, the poor guy was having a couple of strokes. You know what I mean? Like, you've got to understand that you're putting meaning on every single thing you see and hear and experience. And then it's going to perpetuate more of that. So if you sticky note what he's doing, he's not texting me with, he mustn't want me, then he's going to want you even less because that's the story you're telling. And then you're wondering why 
are they cold? Well, you're making them cold with that story. And, and you're wondering, your brain's wondering, you're going like this. What do you, why do you think the 3D is reflecting hot and cold? Because it's, it's doing exactly what your brain's doing. Exactly. And if you're begging in your mind and you're so desperate, they're picking up on that. And you, I mean, if you have them so high on a pedestal that the only thing that's going to make you feel good is for them to respond, you're waiting for them to decide your life for you. And no, no yeah. I'm the only one that decides. <laughs> mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. Sorry, Sarah, I interrupted you. What were you saying? Was I saying oh. something? I don't, I don't know. So. About <laughs> I don't think so. That's well, a good time to move on to the next topic yeah. if you guys want to keep it under an hour. So I have a goldfish. Yeah. So let's I'm go back on to the last posting. Topic. I'm sorry, Sarah. <laughs> That's okay. Thank you, Kat. Um, so this is our last topic. Um, wanting a new SP and giving up on the old SP and giving up versus actually not wanting them anymore. Yeah, there were a a lot of questions like am i, I think up? you am guys I, get so him? caught up in whether you want them you don't want them like i see so many posts comments in the q a where it's like i don't think i want them anymore and then the next day it's like they didn't answer my text and it's like okay do you actually not want them because <laughs> if you'd like like anyway you guys get so caught especially up on especially you, them, you don't want them a new sp is going to be easier mm -hmm. because they haven't yeah. seen parts of me like that you know oh that's that one gets me nothing it's not any easier because they'll come in the same as the old sp did i've done that in the past guys where i've gone you know what fuck them and gone on other dates and blah 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 and then i'm just like, like they're not my sp <laughs> i'm in love with my sp are you in love with them or not if you're in love with them yeah, go manifest someone else like we can't tell you oh yeah you know what well, you are in love we can tell from this fucking question that you're madly in love with this guy don't give up on him he's great this guy they're just whoever you think they are if you think they need to you need to give up on them you, you're holding the story that they don't want you and you're holding the story they're not for you so then you're going to have to pick someone else because you're the one holding the goddamn story that you need to give up on them or you don't want them anymore you're the one why are you like i don't understand this question and it's perfectly okay if you don't want them anymore. Sometimes as we get better, yeah. we're like, what the H was I thinking? Oh, yeah. <laughs> Sometimes Definitely. it's total ick and be like, I don't want you anymore when your self-concept improved. That happens so often in my group. And I think a phenomena that started happening with my following was people started saying, well, you're saying I have to give up on my person. I'm saying, have you bothered to go over my group and see how many people have got new SPs? No. Well, maybe you should because I teach self-concept and maybe if you'd actually worked on your self-concept, you would actually realise you may not actually even want that person anymore brought in who reflected your poor self-concept from before. And I'm not saying you can't change them, but there's a massive phenomenon in my following compared to other people's back in the day. I don't know about now because I couldn't give a shit to watch anyone's stuff, but it was big, this thing that people kept finding new people and then they got confused and thought it meant I was saying, give up on your person. That's not what I'm saying. I'm saying when you work on yourself, you might not want that person anymore because they reflected the old you. You understand? That's but all. then don't be shocked if you've not worked on yourself and the new guy or new girl starts showing up in ways that you don't like. Yeah. Because if you haven't addressed the reason from the old SP, it's just going to keep reflecting. Okay. I'm going to bring up something that was brought up in our meeting yesterday, Sarah, and you'll know what I'm talking about. So when I first started the squad, I kept saying to people, oh, you can just join for the month. Come in for the course and get some help. And then, you know, it's a monthly fee. Quit any time, right? What seems to happen is people do that and then they come back. Why do they come back, Sarah? Because you're, you're in charge of this. Uh, uh, they either had gotten what they wanted and lost it or they're really excited because there's a new course that they're really excited about. Um, those are, I guess, the two main reasons they come back. Right. So those two things are called, I don't think what's happening in the squad right now is important to me, not important to me, when everything we put out is to do something. Regardless of whether you think the current challenge or the current course applies to you, it all applies to you. And the most important thing is you guys go away and don't maintain your new state that you created inside the squad with all the help in here so what we discussed yesterday was we need to see the squad as more of like a maintenance group 
And every Monday, the mentors are helping you to maintain your state that you've created. And I'm not saying never leave, and this is like Hotel California, you can mm -hmm. never leave. But I'm saying a lot of you get this false sense of security when you've got a new SP, you got your SP back, or you got the thing you wanted, and you think everything's great, and you go away and you use John Johnson, John Hayes as an example, this success story on YouTube. You'll go away thinking, thinking everything's great, you'll get married, you do the thing, and then you'll fuck it up with your old thinking because you don't maintain your new state, right? So a lot of if you leave the squad and you have to come back because you've actually undone all the work you were once doing in here and it's better to stay in here so when you do have a question or you do feel shaky or something has happened in the 3D so you don't go and fuck it up and then have to come in here and you've lost your SP you can maintain your SP and stay in the group even Ellie and people like that who've got engaged are staying in the groups they're not going oh I'm just going to leave Ross taught me everything bye they're like I would like to maintain my relationship please Right? A lot yep. of you aren't maintaining the new state you created and you're wondering why you either have to leave the old SP or give up on them or when the new SP does go up the way you want eventually because you don't stay in the new state of you. Right? Well, and I think a lot of times they make it about the SP and not about them. So like, oh my God, he's doing this and he did that. And rather than acknowledge, of course he did that because I'm a new me. It's always about you. Mm -hmm. right. Or like, I'm now the, and now it's going to shit. Mm -hmm. Yeah, I think a big thing that happens, and I'm, I know I've done it, and I'm sure everyone here has done it, is when you want something, right? So let's say you want the SP, and then you do do all the things to get the SP, right? Like Pamela was saying, they're there for the SP, so they do all the affirmations and they do the course, and everything's all fine and dandy. They get SP back, or they get the new SP. They're all excited, and then either they leave the group or they kind of go lax, and then what happens? because they've gone back to thinking the old thinking because they were no longer trying to get the thing that they wanted, they lose it. And then they wonder what happened. But if they actually paid attention and were aware of what they were thinking and doing, they would have realized, oh, I have like stopped doing all of those great things that I was doing to keep me in the state, right? Which is where the maintenance comes in. Mm -hmm. Or they were manifesting just to get that thing rather than really working on themselves. That's mm -hmm. a good one. I've been guilty of that. 100%. Yep. <laughs> yeah. And, and I, think, I wish that all, all the members knew that, is we've all been guilty of all this stuff. Exactly. And we, we, we all have learned our lessons in that we all started because of SPs and this and yeah. that, right? But what we covered in the process, every single mentor, is that this is an inside job. And someone like John, if you go and watch his story, he will tell you his mental went awry. Like he actually started not being in the state he got into to manifest his marriage then he lost his marriage and he had to get it back and he was in here like all with all of us like getting his head right again someone like like ellie yes you can go watch her success story and it's not about an old sp but she still got the old sp back she wanted the new one but she isn't like forgetting all her new state that she created to get engaged she's staying in the new state of her she's not like i'm engaged now bye guys because guys if you're doing that you're not getting this. This is a, a lifestyle. This is not just for a month. This is not just for Christmas. You need to be the new you all the time. That's what persistence means. So when people ask, what does persisting mean? Well, are you the new you all the time? Oh, no, sometimes I'm not. Well, you're not persisting now, are you? Oh, what? Is that what this means? What the fuck do you think this means? What, you're going to be the old you one day on a Monday and Wednesday to Friday you're the new you and then on the weekend you go back to being the old you again thinking old shitty thoughts. It don't work you that way. And that's right? what Sarah and Sarah were saying that live with um, Warcheck the other day. I think it was the other week, Mental Monday 33 or 32 I think it was. It's how, do you, how, how are you reacting internally as well as externally, wasn't it? How, you'll know because you'll be you'll react internally differently as well as mm -hmm. externally and it's not just i'm going to absolutely thing. butcher something that sarah says the other sarah says but she compares it to like um when you do a big diet and exercise regime to get into yes. a, to fit into a specific dress and that then you stop one, because, yeah. because now you fit in the dress right but then what happens because you're not doing you know you're not doing the exercises anymore you're not eating right anymore right you gain the weight back and then you wonder what happened why did i gain all this weight i thought yeah. i you know I lost it. Well, it's because you didn't do anything to maintain that. That life is reason, full of good analogies, too. Go watch it. Yeah, and that's, that's the thing. You can watch the Mentor Mondays every Monday. 
and maintain your new thinking. You can go and watch my lives, my one-on-ones that you can't find anywhere else and maintain your thinking. You can ask questions. You can do the courses. You can maintain like a gym membership your new you, right? You don't go to the gym for a month, lose all the weight and then go back. You have to maintain. That's why people have gym memberships. You don't have a gym one month trial and then just never come again. Yeah. Like you, you go like, sorry, you're out. <laughs> I, I was honestly going to the gym like at least once a week before my mum died. Since my mum died, I have not gone to the gym. I'm telling you right now, a gym photo, um, TikTok came on my screen today about doing RDLs. I thought to myself, if I tried to do that right now, I'd probably <laughs> fucking, right? Because I'm so out of whack with what I'd be doing. I'd forget what to lift, how to lift. I'd fuck it up. I'm so, I have not maintained what I got by March, right? So I'm like a person who is in the squad, doing all the things, improving my self-concept, feeling really good, got the SP, and then, oh, got the SP, bye. Oh, no, it was more like my mum died. And then haven't gone to the gym, right? This is like the gym in here, guys, and we're maintaining our new mental. Are you maintaining it? And a lot of you need to understand that you're not, and the proof that you're not is your fucking questions. And that gets back to what we are talking about at the very beginning. Ask yourself, would a person who is in the new state ask this question? No? For some reason, Laws, it makes me think, you were on a live one time, and this girl said, you know, I just spent... We talked on the phone for 14 hours straight, and then we spent two days together, and now he hasn't called me for 24 hours. And I was like, oh my gosh, that's what you get from that? You just spent like four days total with this person. <laughs> I don't know why it made me think about that story. But it's because people read into it whatever they want to read into. Like, yeah. that for me, I'd be like, get me away from here. I need some space. <laughs> you know? But that's me. Like, I was the kind of kid when I'd go to someone's house when I was a kid and I'd stay over one night and they'd be like, stay over another night. I'd ring my mum and go, can I come home? I couldn't. Yeah, I had a code word with my mum. <laughs> I'd say the word and she'd know, no, you can't stay another night. Sorry. <laughs> she'd be like, do you? And I'd be like, not really. And she'd be like, oh, does she can't stay? And I'd be like, oh, sorry. Oh, like oh, that. No. <laughs> <laughs> oh, we'll organise for next time. <laughs> yeah, I know what you're saying. Saying Pam, yeah. So is there anything else? So what we normally do on Mental Monday is talk about the themes like Sarah said, and then sometimes if they have time, it doesn't normally go, well, we try and keep it to an hour, but normally it goes over. We're trying to keep it to an hour. If there's any questions, you guys, um, if there's anything that's popped up just in relation to what we're talking about, is there anything you guys have noticed, but we want to talk about it and then otherwise we'll go. Yeah. I've been taking a quick look. It looks like there wasn't too many questions throughout the oh, just comments thank you it's it's hard for me to read them because your mm -hmm. background is white Kat. yeah pamela's yeah. face is all i can see when i'm reading i can just see pamela <laughs> smiling at me that beautiful Don't smile pop implement new you when they come back the real work is when they're here exactly guys exactly mm -hmm. it's easy to yeah, fall back back into bad habits That's yep because it's easier to create a bad habit than it is a good one apparently Guys, like Top Gun. Have you ever seen Top Gun? And I've seen Top Gun like thousands of times as a kid because my brother was obsessed with it. So he's flying with Goose in the plane. And like, I've got, I'm trying to find him. And they're trying to find the other plane. The plane's flying around, right? And then they go locked in. You know, like they lock them in. They go, get it. Oh, yeah. And then they oh, yeah. Get, right? That's what your brain's like. So you're locked in. You've got your new thinking. You're the new you. Then your brain naturally wants to go back to not locked in. To the old you where you're wandering around right and it starts a wandering and if you're not locked in it won't stay there it wants to go back to the set it used to be at right it's like a thermostat you turn the room to a certain temperature and then if you don't maintain it you start opening the windows and everything it's going to get cooler in there and your room won't be warm anymore that's what a lot of you do you're opening the windows with questions and reacting and fucking putting the rice blocks down on your pants and then you're wondering why you're cold like I, I heard that reminds me of that analogy it says be a thermostat not a thermometer <laughs> like you set the temperature you don't react to what's around you right i love that one exactly and the thermostat's got to stay at a consistency that's what the consistency is consistent thinking you can't keep going off peak right because then the thermostat isn't doing its job but don't if you do go off 
of course, at any point. Don't sit and dwell on that, please. That's the one thing I ask people not yeah. to do because I struggled with that for so long with sitting there. I'd say, I've fucked up. That's it. And I would just go straight into that bad mindset and things would just stay, stay shitty in the 3D. Right. Because I couldn't get out of that dwelling state because that was the natural state to me then. It took a while to, you know, a bit that's when you know. the new thinking. Mm -hmm. That's when you know you're really starting to dwell in that new state is when you don't have those crazy reactions and swings to things. Mm -hmm. You're not crying in bed for three days yeah. and, yeah. you know. Oh, look, my car got vandalized the other day and I was like, oh, fuck. And then the next, next day I was like, whatever. Like, years ago, I would have been like, oh, but I know how I manifested it because I was sitting in my car texting someone. I looked up and the person was like stalking me. And I thought to myself, fuck, is that, is that person about to attack me or something? And I went, lock. And as I locked the car door, I thought, ah, oh, he's not going to like that. And he had this reaction like, oh, you think I'm going to attack you? I'll show you. Came back later and put a knife through my fucking bonnet, right? Well, I manifested that, didn't I? So did I start freaking out the next day going, oh, you stupid girl. You're an I just went, oh, I'll just get back on insurance or something, right? Yeah. But I know I manifested that. I didn't stay there in the state. I didn't freak out all week and be all depressed and go and sleep in the car and, oh, I freaked you. I'm so sorry. I manifested this. I yeah. was just like, that happened. Right? My reaction back in the old day, I would have been furious. I would have been ringing the police and like, find that man. Oh, I would have been in this state of like anger. Right? But I was just like, oh, well, I manifested that shit, didn't I? So now I'll just manifest it away. Well, you may as well but a lot of you don't chase yourself around with a pitchfork then, you know? Exactly. And a lot of you don't do that. And you don't have the ability to observe your reactions to life. And what Kat's saying is when you really work on this, your reactions change. And that's when you know you have actually changed because your reactions have changed, right? Laz, well, this past week, I was assaulted by a man in the parking lot by my house. What? And yeah, it, it was crazy. I, I just moved in and I guess they're trying, I was told by the borough where to put my trash. And this man came out of nowhere. Laz, the, the names this man called me, he jumped out of his car to grab me. He tried to run me over with his car. I, I swear to you, I think part of it is my was my upbringing and growing up in abuse. I froze, but I didn't react. I, I, I when he got out of the car, I was like, "Well, this going down." Like, you know, but it it all it all turned out well and i manifested like a really a good outcome but i had to ask myself it's because i i have this long-standing story that story that i do things wrong mm -hmm. and or that's that where that came from i'm safe do what that you'll be on un safe well and i do i have had a little bit of that mm -hmm. you know moving here and just having some doubts that i've really had to work on in my mind you and i have talked about that you know before i moved and um, but it was bananas, it, but I didn't it was like, like that was the 3D showing you proof. Like, oh, you've been scared of moving or had some fears. Yeah. Fear in a, yeah. the form of a revolting old man. Like, ugh. yeah, it was crazy. I, after it was done, you know, I cried and I had my little let, let down, but yeah, that was, I had to really take a look at what I've really been feeling. And yeah. that was just a manifestation of, but everything. you didn't stay there and hide all week and then never go back oh, to no. the grocery store oh, or anything. Girl. You didn't dwell in that. No matter the severity of it may seem like, oh, but that's really bad. Yeah. yeah. So is stubbing your toe in the sense of manifesting, right? It's you're yeah. not gonna sit there and go, oh, I stubbed my toe or I was assaulted. It's the same thing. Yeah. You just don't dwell there. You just straightforward, right? No. no I mean it didn't even my sister's like, are you okay? I'm like, I'm fine. Like Yeah. It was what it was in the but the fact that I didn't like go bananas yeah. and just like yeah overreact in the moment i literally just stood there and stared at him <laughs> wow okay jesus yeah. the self-concepts improve guys because if you don't have the same reaction you would have had before that that's big that would be a big indicator in your three that you've changed because internally and externally you're just like well that happened now yeah. listen how do you put his hands on because he stopped when he realized i pulled my phone and my camera out <laughs> but i just thought i I would have turned into Ronda Rousey had the man put his hands on me. Like, <laughs> I I would have been insanity. <laughs> oh god! Right. So guys, Love. is there anything else? Because I know we've gone over an hour. 
That's not totally a very false. important meeting to get to. I have a very important <laughs> meeting. Um, so guys, what I want to just reiterate about what is, those of you who are in here, what I need you to understand is just before you ask a question, look at it and think, is this full of circumstances? If you possibly can, if you're so far gone, you're so freaked out right now and something's happened, okay, go ahead and ask the question. But don't be surprised when the mentors don't address your circumstances. That's the first thing. Second thing I also want to mention is a lot of you are coming in here saying you can't find the courses or you can't find the challenge posts when we have challenges. You guys have got to understand that everything is kept in the guide section of the group. And if you're coming into Facebook and Facebook's changed your settings and you can't see the thing that says guides, it's probably in different parts of the menu. So look around, but also under each of my videos, because those of you watching on YouTube, I do a video with each part of the course. There's also a thing that says see full guide like a button under the video, just press see full guide. You'll see that whole link with all of the guide pieces, all the workbooks and everything. So keep that link open and you have something and just keep going back there. And every time I add a new workbook task, a new video, you'll see it there, right? And then with the challenges, you follow the hashtag or the guides. Okay, guys, so please don't be lost in here and not understand. Make sure you read the instructions when you join. Make sure you read the instructions when you join up in Facebook and don't freak out. If you can't find things, ask us. We'd rather you know, we don't want you leaving going, I could never find the, the guide or find the thing because you didn't look in the right place. Okay, in Facebook, everyone's browser looks different. Mm -hmm. Right, and I know there has also been issues. I know Kat had an issue where it was gone and she had to contact Facebook. So unfortunately, we don't really have control over if Facebook's yeah. having a little bit of a fart that day. So if you really can't find it, if you've looked in the sidebar, if you've looked on the main page and you can't find the guide section, the next step, unfortunately, would have to be uh, contact. There's a little support thing for Facebook and they'll be able to help you reinstate that within your um, interface there. It only took about, so about was, five days for Facebook to fix my guides after I contacted them. Oh, really? Okay, yeah, it's only about good. five days. But also, so just remember underneath the video, it says mm -hmm. see full button. Yeah. And, and using the stuff. hashtag as well, using the hashtag yeah. um, can get you to the posts up. It'll just put them on the feed for you and they might not be in order, but they'll, they'll be there if you click the hashtag. And sometimes for me, there's a difference between my phone and my computer. Yes. So if it's not working on my phone, I try my computer next. Lovely. So guys, Be There Priority has been extended to the end of July. So those of you who are asking how long is this going to be in the squad until the end of July. Now, most of the courses go for a month, but recently we've been doing such in-depth courses. A lot of people have wanted them to go, go for longer. So this one goes to the end of July. And then we're having a challenge that kind of follows on from Be There Priority. Okay. So you guys aren't going to want to leave the squad. Or if you're watching this from outside the squad, you want to come join us to come and get Be There Priority now and the start of the challenge and then maintain your new state by staying in the squad with us because it's a fun place to be. All right, guys, thanks so much for joining us. Thank, thank you for, being for having me. Thank, thank you. you. Thank Matt you, everyone. We have lots, lots of other mentors, guys, that do Mentor Mondays that you'll meet when you're in the squad. All right, guys, come join us. Bye, everyone. Bye, guys. Bye. Love you all. Bye.